right behind us we've got what we call an anaerobic digester which is a bit of a mouthful um, but basically we're converting methane gas into electricity. Okay, so what happens is behind us we've got, we've got two tanks. So the one, the green one on the left, that's, um, that's the primary digester. So that tank is heated. So we're heating all the slurry and uh, all the muck basically that goes into that tank is heated to 40 degrees. Then anything with a calorific value will be digested by the bacteria and they will produce methane gas. The methane gas then travels over into the gas dome that you can see behind us, that bouncy castle dome. So that holds the methane gas and below that we have the digestate which gets pumped across from one tank to the other. Well, believe it or not, um, all the cow slurry from 650 cows goes into this tank. Um, we're mixing it with um, chicken muck from a local chicken farm and uh, we're producing enough electricity to power the local village of Holt, which is about 250 houses. Well, our long-term aim now is, is to be fully su sustainable. Um, we don't want to be buying anything into the farm. We want the farm to be to stand on its own two feet. So this year is the first year where we're going to be growing 90% of our own corn, uh, and that will be um, fed back to our own cows. So we're on the North Welsh border and uh, we're predominantly an organic dairy and animal farm and we also have this solar PV array that's uh, one megawatt so it's a sizable size to power a few homes. It's roughly about three and a half thousand to four thousand panels and it's one megawatt of power. So the solar installation has been in place here for about three and a half years and uh, expected to last about 30 years or more and still be at 80% capacity, or efficiency rather. Mm -hmm. 